And this is actually the heart of what we're doing for our, for our next generation automatic emergency braking system, which will not just stop for people in your path, but it'll stop for people who are going to be in your path. And that's running in shadow mode right now. We'll go out to the fleet this quarter, and I'll talk about shadow mode in a second. So when you want to start a feature like this for Navigate on Autopilot on the highway system, you can start by learning from data, and you can just look at how humans do things today. What is their assertiveness profile? How do they change lanes? What causes them to either abort or change it, like their maneuvers? And you can see things that are not immediately obvious, like, oh yeah, simultaneous merging is rare, but very complicated and very important. And you can start to build opinions about different scenarios, such as a fast overtaking vehicle. So this is what we do when we initially have some algorithms we want to try out. We can put them on the fleet, and we can see what they would have done in a real world scenario, such as this car that's overtaking us very quickly. And this is taken from our actual simulation environment, showing different paths that we have considered taking and how those overlay on the real world behavior of a user. When you get those algorithms tuned up and you feel good about them, specifically, and this is really taking that output of the neural network, putting it in that vector space, and building and tuning these parameters on top of it, ultimately a thing that we can do through more and more machine learning, you go out to a controlled deployment, which for us is our early access program, and this is you get this out to a couple thousand people who are really excited to give you highly vigilant but useful feedback about how this behaves, not in an open loop but in a closed loop way in the real world, and you watch their interventions. And we talked about this, but like, when somebody takes over, we can actually get that clip, try to understand what happens, and one thing we can really do is we can actually play this back, again, in an open loop way and ask, as we build our software, are we getting closer or further from how humans behave in the real world?